designer of the Faith Impressions line for Gel Press. Today I'm going to show you a super fun technique. If you've never used alcohol inks on your Gel Press plate, they are magnificent. They make beautiful prints um, and what's great is they're permanent because they're alcohol inks obviously. Um, and so you'll be able to do all sorts of more layering and that kind of fun stuff on top of it. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this little technique and I will see you on the flip side. Have a great day. All right, creative friends, like I said in our intro, we're gonna be just doing a fun and easy tutorial um, on how to best use your alcohol inks on your gel press plates. We are, of course, using the um, decorative edge from the Faith Impressions collection. Um, before I get started, I want to show you just a couple of samples. These are ones that I did, not this one, but this one, when I was uh, demoing at CHA, and you can see that you get just really great, beautiful, um, uh, imprints and then pull prints and all kinds of fun stuff so you can see my plates are well loved but I guess that's that's best right because it shows I actually use them all the time what's great about using this alcohol ink technique is that if you know alcohol ink of course it's permanent once it's it's placed and that really is great if you're someone who likes to just add stuff and add stuff, maybe some different mediums, some watercolor, you know, whatever you might want to do. And since your background is now permanent, you don't have to worry about accidentally pulling up your colors or messing up something that you really, really love. So we're going to be using just these um, a few colors of alcohol inks. And then of course I've got my brayer. And we're just going to start by just applying our alcohol inks, just kind of sploppy. I don't know if that's a technical term, but that's the word I use. And I'm going to add a little bit of this green. It's not that much different than the blue. But we're going to add it anyway, because why not? And you know, if you've ever worked with alcohol inks, they do tend to dry really fast, which is great because it allows you to move through this process faster. And um, what you don't want to do at this point is take your brayer and just completely steamroll it because what that's going to do is it's going to blend all those colors too much and it's going to end up with mud so we're going to do what i lovingly refer to as the roll and tap or the tap and roll actually so you can see i'm just kind of lightly dabbing but then pushing the paint around a little bit and um, it doesn't have to be we kind of want some space and you'll see why on our next step so we're just kind of and we want that to kind of dry just a little bit because then what we're going to do is we're going to be able to take our whatever we want to use um, whether it be like a texture plate like this from Carabelle or our you know what else do I have up there some bubble wrap or stamps or foam stamps or whatever you might want to use you'll be able to use these um, and what that's going to do so what it's doing right now is that alcohol ink is basically forming a skin on top of our plate and what we're going to do is then we're going to use one of our Carabell texture plates and we're just going to stamp, smush, whatever you want to call it, directly into it. And you can see it's lifting up because what it's doing is the paint or the alcohol ink now wants to stick to this more than it wants to stick to our plate. So we're going to, again, just so I get all of it, we're going to add a little smushy there. Love that. And then our next step is, so this is where you can kind of make some creative choices. Um, your goal is you want to give that skin that we've put on there something else to stick to. So we're going to use an acrylic paint and it's going to kind of make a little sandwich and then we're going to pull the print doing that. So I'm going to be using this silver paint. I just like it because it adds, you can kind of see on these, how it adds just a lot of extra texture and extra fun. Um, we usually say prefer for you to use like a light color like in your pastel family only because it will contrast with your alcohol inks and you don't want to do dark on dark and then lose all that yummy texture that you put on. So you want to add just a little 
kind of a medium amount. You want to almost be able to see your alcohol ink through your acrylic paint choice. So what that's doing is that's giving that alcohol ink something that it wants to stick to more than it wants to stick to our plate. So then I'm going to grab my Bible. I'm going to kind of make some room up in here. I was playing with watercolor stuff on that side. So we're just going to take it again, super handy with that acrylic block that I kind of DIY'd from those. And then we're just going to line it up however you want to line it up. And we're going to kind of smushy it down. Technical term, smush. That's another reason it's really nice to have this like little acrylic plate. Um, is it gives you a really great even pressure on your your plate. Yes, on your plate. Sorry to say something else and I thought it was wrong, but no, I was right. All right, and then we're just going to peel it up. I love it! And you can see we've got, I'm going to take this off so you can kind of see it a little bit better. You can see we've got texture, we've got shine, we've got color, um, and we did it all in, well, five minutes and 33 seconds. Probably be less if you weren't having to talk at the same time. So I'm going to finish this up, add some words and stuff to it, and I will show you the finished product um, in some still shots at the end. I hope you will give this a try and try all sorts of funky colors, because um, I like funky colors. Hello, look at my hair. Um, anyway. Hope you guys have a great and amazing day, and I hope you get to make some super funky and fun prints with your Faith Impressions line. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon.